In this episode, we travel through the spectacular Bafiaanskloof and stay over at some unique places. Welcome to another episode of Four Wheeling SA and this is the third part of our holiday trip. We're currently on our way to Bafiaanskloof so the first place where we're going to sleep over is um, Kurukaya and then we will also be sleeping in a cave, in Makadat's cave so tomorrow we'll be driving through the Bafiaanskloof to Makadat's cave but now we've quickly stopped here at the farm stall I think it's called Odabos farm stall so we'll just see if there's something interesting in there and then we're on our way to Kudukaya After our visit to the farm stall we set off to Kudukaya almost at the beginning of the Bafiaans Kloof our route through the Kloof will be approached from the Patensi site in the direction of Willow Moor. Just entered the Bafiaans Kloof area, so we are on our way now to Kurukaya. We're going to set up camp, but it's yeah. It's very hot at the moment, I think it's 34 degrees and I yeah, can feel it, it's very hot. We've just arrived here at Kudukaya and we're just quickly going to check in and then we're going to head off to our campsite yeah, at the moment it's 40 degrees, so I think we're just going to unhook the bush lab. We arrived at our designated campsite and quickly set up our camp. So it was so hot, we've decided not to go for a drive for the rest of the day, but rather just sit in the in a stream that runs past the, the campsite and just relax because tomorrow is most likely going to be quite a long drive. So. packed up and ready to go so we've just been told just to be careful it seems as if a couple of guys have lost tires so there's some sharp rocks and then the other thing to look out for is traffic coming from the front our first target for the day was to reach the entrance to the Bafiaans Kloof Nature Reserve arrived at the gate of the of the Anskloof Reserve so from here on it's I think the roads are going to be a bit less uh, <laughs> friendly on the vehicle but we're looking forward to it and especially the scenery okay we are here I suppose we're going to follow this and this and this and I think we're going to go out today still as well to the Mokadat Caves After completing all the required paperwork, we started our drive through the Kloof and enjoyed the scenery on offer. The 
The roads were washed away after the recent rains, but did not prove to be a big problem for our Fortuner and Bush Lapa. The views of the Kloof were just amazing and something you have to experience for yourself. So we've just encountered the first car from the front and he's towing a trailer and I'm towing a trailer. So we'll have to make a plan to get past the other. Hoovering, we were able to get past each other, so hopefully not too many cars in front. And they do say the road is not in a very good condition, but uh, yeah, I think we'll manage. What I've done is I've engaged low range. It's not really necessary, but with that vehicle it gave me the, the um, option to go very slowly past the vehicle. So rather do it slow and take your time, just make sure you're safe. So we've reached one of the higher parts of the pass, so far the scenery is breathtaking. Um, yeah, the road is a bit bumpy, but um, nothing very technical, you just need to be aware and keep your eyes on it. We quickly stopped at Bergplas before continuing on the route. After we left Bergplas, we started our descent back into the Kloof. Thing to take note of is there's a lot of these steep drop-offs so remember when you are towing your tow, tow or your, your trailer also needs to go down here so don't just when you once you're over this with your car just continue driving because you're gonna pull your travel trailer in the end it's gonna bounce ar around and there's also these cut sharp edges so if your trailer wheel hits it at the wrong angle you will get a, a puncture Rocky sections like this require you to pick the correct line before driving through. So this little drop off here actually is very it's quite high, especially if you're coming from that side. We're coming from this side. That's the Willamore side. Um, so if you have a tra trailer, you maybe need some momentum. I see that back some rocks there. Otherwise, it's going to basically your trailer and keep it, let it stay behind. You can see some people lost mud flaps here. So it's just very slowly, and I would actually do this in low range if I was going up. We then encountered the first of the longer water crossings. These water crossings did not pose any danger when we passed through, but they still offered a lot of excitement. We quickly stopped at the Smitskral picnic spot before continuing on the last section of the route in the reserve. 
it was evident where the Baffiaans kloof name originated from. Baffiaans is Dutch for baboon. We eventually reached the exit of the reserve and stopped at the Baffiaans farm store to buy some souvenirs. After the stop, we drove to the Makadat case, passing through the local farming community. We reached the Makadat case and headed towards the Alweinbach cave where we will be staying. We just arrived here at the Makadat case. We're going to stay in a cave called Alweinbach. Now, that cave is up there. And I want to take my trailer with me. So what I did is to make sure that I can go there, I actually drove it first with my vehicle and only used high range. To try and get up there with, um, by using low range now. I've made it up. This Fortuner is a machine. Huh? Now I, I love this vehicle. It's an awesome piece of kit. Staying over in this cave offers a unique experience that we can highly recommend. The views from the cave is just as amazing as the accommodation itself. Okay, so that's the cave that we're gonna sleep in. Alvin Buck. Here yeah, is Makadat Cave. Um, yeah, it's not quite camping, but it's very close huh? because it's nice and open, so you won't see the stars because it's cloudy, but yeah, maybe it will open up during the evening. And now I'm going to start a fire and just sit down and relax a bit. While we waited for the fire, we prepared some jaffles for the following day. That brings us to the end of the Buffy Hanskloof part of our trip. And that's the end of our trip as well. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. And yeah, that really helps the channel as well. Thanks for your support and watching. See you on the next one.